Hello everyone, I am Hen Zhang, an Associate Research Fellow at the Institute of Software, Chinese Academic of Sciences, and a visiting research at University of Sydney. Welcome to our talk on the designing and setting graph processing system through novel path sampling on multi accelerator systems. This work is a collaborative work between Chinese Academic of Sciences, University of Sydney, Brookhaven National Laboratory. Stevens Institute of Technology. This is the outline of our talk. Next, I'm going to discuss the background of assessing graph processing. Following that, I will demonstrate the experimental results of workload characterization over recent approaches, and then introduce other motivation and technical challenges. Graphs are ubiquitous in our world, and they have been widely used to represent the relationships of data in many fields related to our daily life. These structures have been widely adopted to represent the commercial transactions in Amazon, document relationships in our website, user communications in social web, and so on. Also, our work has been done to achieve efficient performance on large setting graph processing. In the past, uncertainty has emerged to be intrinsic in wide spectrum of real-world big data applications, also in graph processing field, such as managing connection probability in peer-to-peer -peer network, measuring noise in bioinformatics, evaluating relationship influence in social network. To represent uncertain information, the existence of the connection is formulated as a probability peak edge and assigned with an uncertainty value. Meanwhile, the uncertainty of vertex and attribute also incorporate the uncertain sources. In the literature of uncertain graph, recent work mostly focus on doing algorithm optimization and application designing such as query based on distance, graph pattern mining, and subgraph search, and so on. Let's take a look at how to solve uncertain graph problems. The first solution is to conduct accurate solutions via enumerating or certain instances, also called possible wells from uncertain graphs. Giving this sensor network as an example, it encodes the noise rates of communication between each two sensors into connectivity probabilities. Where what three edges exist, the right eight possible wells are identified and assigned probability values by multiplying the connection rates of all the edges. For example, the bottom right corner graph is calculated as the three edges all existing, and its existence probability is 0.12, achieving by 0.8 times 0.5 and times 0.3. Following that, when figuring out the success rate of data transferring from sensor 0 to sensor 2, all of these 8 possible wells will need to be generated and processed. Aiming to give an exact result, the probability propagation among edges makes and certain graph processing very computational complex. Unfortunately, the number of these possible worlds is exponentially to the number of edges, making hard to may achieve efficient solutions for uncertain graph traversing, processing, and mining. Previous work have sought approximate solutions to optimize complexity of uncertain graph problems making the complex computation practical, they achieve reliable results from sampling adaptive amount of samples, thus with no need for gener generating all possible worlds from one uncertain graph. Eventually, they need to ensure the final result reliable, with calculating from a sufficient amount of possible worlds via a Chernoff bond. The basic idea behind these approximate solutions is to adopt Monte Carlo to recursively sample the existence of each edge many rounds, and then select and evaluate the generated graphs until a reliable result is achieved. 
we giving this mini graph as an example. The existence probability of each hash is formulated and assigned as a float value, and we solve problem of querying distance constraint reachability from vertex 0 to vertex 6. Assume three possible worlds are sampled from the asset graph G based on edge probabilities. After that, we traverse each possible world G1, G2, and G3 to figure out all paths from vertex 0 to vertex 6 in these three possible worlds. The distances of these passes are also calculated and equal to the hop counts. Finally, the distance constraint reachability between vertex 0 to vertex 6 can be summarized by combining the distances of all the passes found. For example, two possible worlds uh, include paths with distance equal to 3 is G1 and G2 out of the total three possible worlds. And thus, the reliability of distance equal to three is achieved and calculated to two threads sets. Among these approximate solutions, two categories of them are concluded, entirety sampling and partition sampling approach. The entirety sampling measures introducing conventional Monte Carlo sampling directly randomly sample a certain number of possible worlds from the entirety and certain graph. Some ideas like lazy propagation and recursive sampling are following Monte Carlo method to optimize the entirety sampling. The other direction for processing a certain graph is to use partition sampling, including prop tree BF sharing and DSR frameworks. They seek to partition the ancestral graph into massive connected pieces and then build an index among them to improve the traversal performance of them. Partition sampling does not sample irrelevant uh, partitions and thus reduces workload. However, recent state-of-the-art solutions still cannot handle large-scale ancestral graphs and present inefficient performance. To figure out the efficacy of recent ascetic graph processing, we first perform workload characterizations on DSTAR and property. Two recent ascetic graph approaches. The result of execution breakdown show that more than 19% runtime is spent on the sampling operations, especially on edge sampling to generate possible wells. The traversal cost, on the other hand, only takes less than 5%. We further evaluate the memory usage of these two approaches. From the report, the memory enlarges more than five times caching space during processing a certain graph iteratively. With the ever-increasing size of graphs, this R and property will eventually become very inefficient and more and more difficult to perform in limited memory systems. The major drawback of this method is that they still do unnecessary edge sampling because there are unusedness edges within useful partitions and water they require to build the index tree which is very time consuming and Maintaining the redundant large index tree data in memory is difficult and costly. Eventually, four defects of recent approach motivate us to design an efficient and certain graph processing systems, including unnecessary edge sampling, redundant traversal, unable to utilize GPU and poor probabilities and generality for algorithm designing and debugging. Compared to recent approaches, we seek to exploit uh, sequential uh, structures to eliminate the unnecessary edge sampling and reduce traversal redundancy. Fortunately, via pre-traversing graph into past structures, this past area 
sequences give a benefit for assessing graph processing, ensuring eliminating unnecessary edge sampling, and providing a natural parallel accelerating benefit. Thus, we seek multi-GPU systems to accelerate the assessing graph processing. Meanwhile, different from the setting graph processing, the bottom neck of unsetting graph processing mainly comes from the large sampling workload on uh, edges, which is computation uh, instance-save operations, making recent frameworks cannot directly be applied. In this work, the core design is a novel sampling methodology to eliminate unnecessary edges before sampling. Around the past sampling, we implement our system BP Graph, a new efficient and scalable system for uncertain graph processing over multi GPUs. Lastly, we propose pro path centric program APIs to simplify the programming and designing of uncertain graph applications. Next, we introduce our path sampling methodology for uncertain graph processing. The first stage of our path sampling is to identify passes from given vertices, specifically giving a query pairs of sources to duckies we traverse the ascending graph from the source vertices to find all possible passes that lead to the target vertices. We further make an example for a query from the source vertex 0 to find all possible passes that lead to the target vertex 6. During pass identification stage, we first align all vertices along the breast-first order tree, do a bottom-up traversal to find the temporal passes from vertex 0 to vertex 6. After recursively expanding passes among the intervertices, eight possible passes from vertex 0 to vertex 6 are fetched. Note that the depth of a path is bounded by the diameter of the graph, which prevents the length of the generated passes from getting too large or screwed. The second stage is to sample edge uh, from previous identified passes. We only sample edges that are on those identified passes. This is the core difference between our path sampling and the, the entirety or partition sampling without sampling other useless edges. The sampling of different edges are performed in, in, independently. After that, a bitmap is used to store the sampling result for each edge. With one bit represent the existence of this edge in the corresponding sampled graph. In this example, three possible worlds are sampled from the uncertain graph. Each edge is sampled three times by generating three random numbers unified in the range of 0 to 1. We compare the edge's probability with the floating uh, possible value above each edge. If the random number is larger, we update the bit value of the bitmap to zero to one, otherwise to zero. If the bit marked zero, it represents this edge does not exist in the portable world. Otherwise, if the bit marks one, represent the edges exist in the uh, corresponding portable world. For example, the status of edge vertex 0 to vertex 1 is uh, 0, 1, 1, means it exists in the second and third sample, but does not exist in the first sample. The following two stages are conducted over identified passes and uh, sampled edges. The third, the third stage is pass sampling, and the uh, logically ending operation is performed over bitmap of every edge along pass. Similarly, a status bitmap is used for each edge to represent its sampling result, also indicated which possible world this pass will exist. 
The path speed map is calculated by logically ending operation between the bitmap of every edge on this path. For example, the bitmap of path 0 equals to join the bitmap of edge 0 to 1 and that edge 1 to 6, which further equals to join 0 1 1 and 0 0 1, and we get 0 0 1 for pass 0. Lastly, reliability result is achieved from constraint based filtering and ag aggregating reliability probabilities. Candidate passes are filtered based on the pass sampling result and the user defined constraints. For example, there is a two level filter to evaluate the existence of passes. The first filter points passes that do not exist in any samples. If all sampling result bits are zero for a pass, it is filled out. In this figure, pass 3, pass 5, pass 6, and pass 8 are pruned by this filter. The second filter prunes passes that do not qualify according to the user-defined constraint uh, criteria. Pass 2 and Pass 7 are pruned by the second filter. In this end, only Pass 0, 1, and 4 are retained for final reliability result calculation. Finally, we obtain the distance probability results from leftover passes. Centered around our core pass sampling method, an efficient GPU accelerated ascending graph processing framework we call BP Graph is designed to provide high performance, scalable, and pro uh, programmable on multi GPU systems. First, centrally around pass sampling, we propose a unified programming API supporting for users to easily express and debug ascending graph applications. Four API functions are incorporated in the three pass sampling stages. Dispel entity function is given define active filtering, active vertices and edges. Initialize function is given to initialize the distance of an empty pass. Another expand function is given to be repeatedly invoked for pass calculation. Finally, Reduce vertex function is given to combine the uh, distance of probability of all the available passes. The right listing illustrates the execution flow of BP graph using these API functions. The input of the execution flow is a certain graph and the source and target vertex pairs. Two stages are conducted. The first is to expand and update passes along edges. And the second is to reduce and calculate the distance and the reliability values of vertices. The key operations on building GPU accelerated BP graph is pass identification and sampling. In pass identification stage, BP graph maintains the entire uncertain graph and the structure of breast-first order tree to help optimize graph localities. In particular, each pass is asynchronously dispatched to GPUs as a single processing workload unit. GPU work units sequentially check the corresponding passes and synchronize along the dependencies. We also design an incremental hierarchical pass sampling strategy via GPU cooperative group programming. Other than sampling every pass or edge, this strategy eliminates many redundant sampling workloads from any edge filters. We utilize GPU cooperative groups configured by different template parameters to conduct computation over various lenses of subpasses. With the size of a certain graph increasing, Scanning BP graph to multi GPU systems will be more and more desirable and beneficial. BP graph tackles the scannability challenges for processing large scale and certain graph via three techniques. First, 
A streaming and certain graph partition and allocation strategy over multi GPUs is designed using edge partition method, and further, several code prefetching optimizations are exploited for a graph partition loading. Second, we design a dynamic workload migration via dual buffering to balance across different devices due to pass differences. Third, to maintain the intermediate reliability results, we conduct a shared zero copy buffer to store the separate pass array for each GPU after synchronization. Combining them, we achieve an efficient and scalable BP graph for large scale and certain graph processing. More details can be referred to our paper. I have talked about our novel BP graph design and system optimizations. Next, we, I will show how if effective they are. The evaluation of our system was performed on NVIDIA DGX1 server, consisting of 8 Tesla V100 cards. We evaluated the source to target query, KN, and any per shortest passes algorithms to compare our system with other state-of-the-art approaches, including Monte Carlo, a beta edge prop tree dist r. From the results of this figure and table, we can see that BP graph significantly achieved 30 uh, speed ups on these uh, four approaches. We observe that our pass sampling optimization can achieve uh, 23 times speed up on GPU compared to without GPU. Our CPU based a pass sampling design achieved approximate two times compared with baseline, bit edge, and prop tree. And combine, combining them, we can achieve over uh, 30 times speed up. Our BP graph also achieves great manage saving during processing and setting graphs. Our BP graph achieved 32% achieved and more than uh, three times on memory saving compared to uh, prop tree. Meanwhile, from the results of runtime breakdown, pass identify stage performs average 30% of the over uh, execution time and the, and the edge sampling and pass sampling overhead is sharply down. Meanwhile, we analyze the scalability of our system over multi-GPUs. Adding to 8 GPUs, 4 GPUs, and 2 GPUs could achieve 5.2, 3.2, and 1.8 speed up over a single GPU. The results from the red figure using three distance metrics show that uh, the overall running time does not change significantly. These results have proven our idea feasible and can effectively scale to multi GPU systems and the BP graph system achieves much more efficient and scalability than recent and certain graph approaches. And last, we conclude our paper. To conclude our work, we propose a novel multi-accelerator based framework called BP graph for efficiently processing a certain graph analytics. And the newly runtime pass sampling technique is proposed to identify unnecessary edges. Finally, BP Graph integrates a general support for users to write a wide range of uncertain graph applications without dealing with a low level complexity. Thanks for listening to our report and welcome the feedback to us.